Yo, it's me, it's Aaron Carter. I just want to let you know, uh, I got that real shit. I ain't been spitting nothing but hot facts, you know. I had to get this new Medusa tattoo on my face, you know what I'm saying, and a dragon on the other side, you know what I'm saying. And I got Ed, Ed, and Eddie right here underneath my jawline, but it's and it's cool, you know what I mean. I got, I got like seventy eight million dollars in this bag, and I also have two hundred million at my house. And don't you call me a liar ever again, and don't you insult my intelligence. But you know, I'm just keeping it real. I'm here to represent for you know, cute dog locked in a hot car podcast. You know, like I, I mean, my man Jamal, Jamal, me and Jamal go way back. Like I don't, I don't know about you. I don't know about all that shit, you know, my, my mom was saying or, like, my auntie or anything like that. Uh, she's just mad because I'm, I'm better than Justin Bieber. Like, she's mad because I paved the way for Justin Bieber, you know? Like, I ain't got time for that shit, you know? We're, we're, we're over here making real trap shit anthems right now, you know? My last my last song charted in, in 78 countries, in, actually in 2 million countries. My last shit charted in 2 million countries, and... These haters tried to, you know, block me from YouTube. My brother, he 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 beat my ass. No, I beat his ass. No, he, I, we we beat each other's ass, dude. Like I'm a real gangster, but you know he's like a real ass gangster too. And my mom is really bad. But but I I mean you know this is my entire life story. I just wanted to shout out uh, Jamal Abel Harrison. He does really good podcast called Cute Dog Locked in a Hot Car, and I really love it because I feel like I'm a cute dog locked in a hot car because I'm Aaron Carter and I, I just have all the swag and all the bitches. I'm not on drugs. So see you later. Drop the drop the uh drop the you know the thing. What what's it, the drop? Yeah, we got we got more hits to make. We got more we got more trap bangers. You know. Oh, that's that's P Diddy hitting me up right now. Uh, I'm out of here. Cute dog. Let's go. Drop it. to cute dog locked in a hot car podcast 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 to welcome y'all um sorry i've been gone for a couple of like i think it's just a week i think i took one week off accidentally i had to move you know that's none of your goddamn business though but i mean i guess it is because y'all are here with me so yeah i moved and now we're chilling but uh We back, we back with it. Um, I just got done watching the Nikki Glaser stand-up special on Netflix. It was very funny. It was really funny. That was like, I don't know. I would put that like in my high rankings of the uh, the uh, the stand-ups this year. You know. And everybody else in the world was watching the Joker movie, and I was watching Nikki Glaser stand-up special on Netflix. Out now, I don't feel like I should watch the Joker movie because uh, I already know what happens. Like you know, like why? Are you, why is everybody watching this movie? Because the guy tried really hard to make it. You know, like, I don't get it. Like, I don't, like, is there a secret? Is there, like, a twist ending? Or do I know what happens? He just becomes the Joker. All right. Get back to me, please. Uh, Oh, yeah, I don't think you can get back to me on my fucking Google. I think I lost that Google voice because literally no one called for a year. I had a Google voice for, like, a year. No one called. No one gave any fucks. I just uh, would always put it in the in the bio, like, hey, y'all can call. I think one dude called, 
because I was with him at a bar and I told him to call. But, uh, whatever. Fucking. What else happened? What we, what's been going on? Yeah, so I haven't seen the Joker. But now there's fucking, like, bums downtown dressed up like the Joker. And that's cool. Because, you know, it's like putting a little, you know, a little, little bullseye on yourself. That's cool. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh... Nah, this place is cool, though. I have walls in this studio. And that's cool. I mean, and I also did, um, I did another podcast. I did somebody else's podcast. I did the Dad's Butt podcast. There's some, there's some, uh, little jokester guys. Made some, made some funny jokes throughout the time. They, they, they uh, they say they're white. They say the N-word a lot. So, go check that shit out. Um... What else? What else? What's been going on? I mean, there's a lot that's been going on, huh? I guess, uh, like, you know, Takashi's gonna get out and get 10 million bucks. But, uh, I don't really think that's my business. You know? So I'm just gonna con- I'm gonna move right along. Move right past that. Um. What the fuck do I want to talk about? Um. Like, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah. I guess I'm locked in a hot car. Oh yeah, somebody somebody fucking said that. I think my bosses found out about my my about this podcast and me. T- uh, I'm not sure if she ever found out the one where I talk about the, the uh, you know tacos is not a race. But I don't care. I like burning my life down, so let's do it. That's funny. Like for having a creative job, you can get canceled from a real job. You know, I need some goddamn more patrons. You guys are not being polite. I'm also decide. I'm trying to decide if I should. Yeah, I need more patrons. I mean, it's like I don't need them, but I just need them so that pe like you know you just need uh like clout so that you can be taken seriously. It's like uh. Yeah, I need that. Let me get some. Who's got Who's got some for me? Thanks. Mm-hmm. This episode sucks. That's another reason I didn't make this episode or I wasn't going to make this anymore because I liked the last one. I thought the last one was really funny. So if you don't like this one, now's your chance to uh go back an episode or just scroll to the end and we can fucking listen to a song. I've been making a lot of songs since I got walls. Now I got walls, I just can be chilling i could be saying what i want maybe that's why i don't have much to say here you know on the actual pod all my all my subjects like uh like people with saggy titties i've been writing songs like songs about people with saggy titties uh i wrote a song it was like uh i like you once a year you're my pumpkin you know once a year like a pumpkin been 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 getting in my my lyrical bag. Why do you make songs, Jamal? I don't know. I don't know why I make songs. I don't know. I, like uh, I don't even like. I I realize that my shit like you sh- that it doesn't sound like anything else. So there's no reason to like you can't play it before or after anything. So there's no you know place for it in the world. So I get it. I'm cool with that. Uh. The best place for my music is played on repeat, just like after itself. And not even after one song after the other, just one song over and over. I've really realized, like, that's the best way to hear my music or, like, songs I make, you know. Some days I just get into my, I just start chilling and start and listen to that wet, wet pussy hole song all day. All day. Yeah, that Nikki Glaser shit made me feel like I'm going to be better at sex. But from the way that ladies explain sex, I mean, I say ladies because I don't want to say girls, because girls explain sex a little different. But the way, like, and I mean, I'm speaking from when I was a child. I would speak to girls. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I haven't talked to any recent girls, obviously, about it. But um, ladies, they 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 always make you feel like like uh, having better sex is like. Uh, 
talking some like talking your way into it like figuring it out like it's like a thing it's like no having bigger, better sex for a dude is just having bigger body parts period if your dick's not bigger you know what i mean and i'm not gonna lie like a lot of ladies always say like oh dude you i have great sex with you but they also i also know that ladies lie for your self-esteem you know so when they say it i just look at them like sure like a like like when you like when you give a bum change and he says thanks but you know he's kind of like he's like nigga you had a dollar you know but he's he's just thinking it cuz he's like thanks that that's kind of the same way i give i give them the thanks like yeah well if i was so good at sex then why would i pay for dinner <laughs> the little, little jokey joke that's that's a joke everyone uh fucking what <laughs> fucking um yeah but like i think i think that uh everybody's like women are are trained to like lie and be like hey that was great dude you did amazing just you know just to make sure that you know like dude's still like i guess you know like buy him stuff but uh in actuality it, you can't like no you know i don't know I mean, you know, I'm talking like I got the little meat, but I kind of know I don't. But how do you ever know you don't, motherfucker? Like, that's the sketchiest thing, like, dick size. Like, I don't know how, like, imagine you could make your dick bigger. Where would you stop? Dudes would not play around. Niggas would have, like, dicks, like, if I could make my dick bigger, it'd literally be as big as my leg. Duh. Uh, like wideness too that bitch it wouldn't fit in it'd just be it'd be like it'd look like a tail you know in the front in fact it, I'd like I'd like wrap I'd like figure out how to like wear it like a belt or something and like I'd look like a Saiyan you get what I'm saying long story short it'd be like wrapped around my waist like four times why would like what the fuck I'd wear it as yeah like what the fuck who who's gonna be like? Oh yeah, give me give me the give me the give me that uh give me give me give me that little nine inches, please. I'll stop at nine. Who's stopping at nine? Ask your friends. Nobody's stopping at nine. Just facts. Fucking. What else is? What's been going on in the world? Um. I hate when I hate this when I hate when like I have this feeling like I'm I'm a bum ass nigga like I'm I'm broke for I've been broken uh I've been broke since the 70s you know what I'm saying uh back when food stamps was made of paper back when they give you the bricks of the government cheese in the mail in fact shouts to Bach shouts to my homeboy I'm just gonna call him Bach because his code name I don't mean that's like his nickname but uh Shouts to Bach because he used to call me government cheese in elementary school. Um, it wasn't in the seventies, but might, might you know whatever might as well have been. I'm from South Carolina, so that's about thirty years behind anyway. So, um, what's been going on? Um, yeah, yeah, he's been calling me government cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is what I'm trying to say. I hate it when you like, like I hate I, like. Okay, this is what I'm saying. I've been broke, guys. I get it. I didn't slept on some couches that that people did not want me on that couch. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I have to sleep on this couch because you know, I have too many clothes or some shit. But the thing is, um, these motherfuckers are not playing. What am I trying to say? Oh yeah. Have you ever had like some bummy shit go down, right? And you're just like, you're just basically. Don't you hate it when the bum like actually really like? I'm trying to speak about real life. I'm I'm we're working this out right now, me and you guys right now. But I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to work through this without giving away the person's entire information. Obviously, you can hear me struggling. What I'm saying is. You ever have a person where you're just like, oh, yeah, you can have some crackers. You know, you can have this bag of crackers or chips or whatever. And then they're like, 
thanks. Yeah, give me that bag of chips, you know, or something like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, when they're entitled to the help is what I'm saying. Like, when they're like, oh, like that one first time you give them a bag of chips, and then they just start walking in, and they just start taking the bags of chips. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the way I'd like to, that's the way I'd like to encode this conversation. You get what, yeah. It's like when you're like, hey, man, you know, you got the, you got the 50, 50 bag of chips. You know how it goes. Those little, that 50 pack bag of chips, like, you know, like mom buys. Right. So you grab the, you're, they're like the first time they come in, they're like, hey, can I have a bag of chips? And you're like, of course. Yeah, you can have a bag of chips. And then the second time they come in, they're just kind of like, give me that bag of chips. You know, and you're just like, oh, man. Why you got to be like that? You know, I want you to have chips as much as you want to have chips. But that that type of attitude doesn't help the help the chip situation. And that's that's why, you know. So it's like I've been I've been the guy who needs a bag of chips. Like, you know, like say say I know niggas is hungry. You know, I know you haven't eaten. And you come to my house and I I want you to have that bag of chips, but don't run over there and don't run up to me and be like, "Nigga, give me them, but you know." That's this, you know. That's that's the that's how I feel about that situation. It's like uh, you know, that's that's like that's like why people don't want to be broke, because they have to ask for a bag of chips. You get what I'm saying? Asking is in turn payment for said chips. You know. So there goes that. Um fucking what else has been you know that's it uh like i said go listen to those white people say the n-word let's see what fuck i don't know what song i'm gonna put here we'll figure it out yeah yeah it just got me pissed off ruined the whole mood ruined the whole mood you guys heard me get the text somebody's just like hey man i i deserve this i'm like whoa nobody nobody deserves come on nobody deserves anything we're all just uh, trying to get stuff, you know. What the hell? Really ticks me, ticked me and peeved me, ticked me, ticked me right on. Um, what else? Uh, la, 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 la. that's fucking it. I'm not gonna, I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna drag this bitch. Um, it's not, it's not like anybody even gives a fuck. Like these pods are gonna get shorter and shorter the less you guys listen. So, if you don't want to listen or tell anybody else to listen or even, like, just, like I said, sign up for a fucking Patreon and you don't have to pay anything. There's a free tier. You know what I'm saying? Most of these bitches are free. Um, Then why am I... I'm not going to try hard. I'll fucking try hard. I don't know, though. Actually, that's that's not true. Maybe we should meet in the middle. Maybe I should try a little harder so that you have a reason to fuck with me. You see, I'm I'm understanding. Let's, uh, let's just work it out. Let's work it out and we'll meet in the middle. Uh, peace, love, and drugs. I love you. Be safe. Uh, don't stay out too late. Don't go home too early. Love your mom. Take her to prom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kill, 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 kill. So I rob it. Clearly, clearly, Slayer. I hate Linda. I hate Linda. Pump it, pump it up, yo, and it's pumping. I fuck with her once yeah. a year like yeah. a pumpkin. Yeah. Pump it, pump it up, yo, and it's pumping. I kill. fuck kill. with her once kill. a year kill. like kill. a kill. pumpkin. Kill. 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 Pump it, pump it up, yo, and it's pumping. Yeah. I fuck with her when she here, she my pumpkin. Clearly. Pump it, pump it up, yo, and it's pumping. I fuck with her when yeah. she here, she yeah. my pumpkin. Yeah. I been doing bad stuff, you ain't doing nothing. I stick moving, groove. No front end. You look at me, looking mad about nothing. Yeah. Puffin' yeah. and I'm dragging. Yeah. No yeah. sagging, yeah. no packing, but I'm still no lacking. Yeah. I'm a weirdo, off a beardo, and a Lucy. You look like a goofy, checking for a roofie. I sound like a rapper, that makes me a capper. I be hearing laughter somewhere in the rafters. You be catching on super late the way after. I be piping up, you stupid fucking bastards. Clearly. Stupid yeah. fucking go, bastard. Go, 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 go. Pump it, pump it up, yo, and it's pumping. I fuck with her once a year like a pumpkin. Really? Pump it, pump it up, yo, and it's pumping. Yeah. I fuck yeah. with her once yeah. a year like yeah. a pumpkin. Yeah. Pump it, pump it up, yo, and it's pumping. I fuck with her when she here, she my pumpkin. Really? Pump it, pump it up, yo, and it's pumping.